Hi, I'm Marjorie, and I want to show you how to use the tree shape from the AccuQuilt Go Holiday Medley Die to machine embroider a quilt block. These are the supplies that we will be using to make this Holiday Medley tree quilt block. We will be using the tree shape from the AccuQuilt Go Holiday Medley Die. A 5x7 machine embroidery hoop is required, as well as the Holiday Medley Machine Embroidery Design Set, which can be purchased from AccuQuilt.com or downloaded as a digital file. We will be using a soft, lightweight, tearaway stabilizer. A second option is to use a soft, lightweight, cutaway stabilizer. Background fabric is needed for the quilt block and this is an 8.5 inch square of Kona cotton. Fabric for the tree applique shape is needed and also a fusible web that will be fused to the wrong side of the applique fabric. This is light Stima Seam 2. In addition, when the quilt block is finished, we will use a 6.5 inch Creative Grid Square It Up and Fussy Cut Ruler. To secure the background fabric to the stabilizer, we will use the Temporary Spray Adhesive Sulky KK2000. And to position the applique shape, we will use a pair of micro tweezers like this. The first step in creating this machine embroidery quilt block is to prepare the applique fabric for cutting the applique shape. A 6 inch cut square is used and a fusible web square will be applied to the wrong side of the applique fabric square. The applique fabric is pressed to remove any wrinkles. The back side of the applique fabric square should be checked and any threads or lint should be removed. The next step is to apply the fusible web. I am using light Stima Seam 2. It has paper on both sides. When one side of the paper is peeled away, the fusible is left on the other piece of paper and the fusible is placed with the sticky side down onto the wrong side of the applique fabric. It is finger pressed into place and smoothed onto the fabric. Then it is pressed with a hot iron. It doesn't need a lot of pressing. Oh my goodness, when we turn it over we see a wrinkle there in the middle. But we can fix that because this is a repositionable fusible. We can actually peel it back and flatten out the wrinkle and finger press it carefully to smooth out the wrinkle and then we'll press it again with a hot iron so that the wrinkle has been removed. When everything is completely smooth and there are no wrinkles the fabric is ready to be cut into the applique shape. The AccuQuilt Go cutter and the Holiday Medley die are used to cut the tree. And the nicest thing about the Holiday Medley die is that it works on every AccuQuilt cutter from the Baby Go all the way to the studio using an adapter.
cutting applique shapes with fusible web and the paper on the back takes away any worries about lengthwise or crosswise grain. You can just cut. And sometimes I even cut applique with paper-backed fusible on the bias if I can get a better cut from that. Or if, for instance, you can see the light spots on this fabric, I might want to cut around those light spots. So I think I will cut it like this, and then the light spots will be cut off on either side. Cover the die and fabric with a mat and run it through the cutter. On the other side, I have a beautiful tree shape that is ready for machine embroidery. Now we will place the background fabric onto the stabilizer and into the embroidery hook. This is an eight and a half inch square of Kona cotton and a soft, lightweight stabilizer. The background fabric should be centered. To do that, it is folded in half horizontally and vertically and finger pressed. And then the background fabric is centered on the stabilizer so that when it is hooped the embroidery will be centered on the background fabric. The hoop is then placed over that and the centering notches on the hoop are matched up to the horizontal line that was finger pressed into the background fabric and pencil marks can be made on, e on the outer edge of the stabilizer to mark the horizontal center. Because the background fabric is smaller than the hoop, it will be secured to the stabilizer with a temporary spray adhesive. I have a frame cut from stabilizer that I place over the embroidery stabilizer to protect the embroidery hoop from the stickiness. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to spray it like this. The background fabric is then placed onto the stabilizer, matching the horizontal centering marks. It is carefully smoothed. The hoop is then centered over that. It is placed into the outer hoop and secured with the spring. And now we're ready to stitch. The machine is threaded. The stabilizer and fabric are in the embroidery hoop. We are mounting the hoop onto the machine and the embroidery design is loaded from the USB. We're going to pull the bobbin thread up and pull these threads away from the stitching line. The machine will secure the first few stitches and stop so that we can trim the thread. And then the placement line for the applique will be stitched. Those stitches are used for placing the tree applique shape accurately for the decorative stitching.
When the placement line is complete, the hoop is removed from the machine without disturbing the fabric and stabilizer and is taken to the pressing board for placement of the applique shape. We're going to show you how we place the applique shape within the placement lines. First, the paper is removed from the back of the applique shape. And to do that, we're going to score the paper with a pen, just perforated. It doesn't have to be go all the way through because when you fold the paper, it will break and you can easily peel the remaining paper off. Once that paper is removed, you can see that the back of the applique is very tacky. We're going to place that applique shape generally in place. It doesn't have to be exact. And then we'll use the tweezers to get the exact placement within the placement lines. We want to make sure that the branches fit where they should. And then we finger, once we move that branch into place, we finger press it so that that tacky fusible will stick and hold it in place until we get all of the branches in place. If a branch sticks out, push it in. Um, pull the lower branch, see how that one sticks out, we pull it in and then we give that lower branch a little bit of help to reach down to that placement line. And this happens on the other side too. Work with the fabric. We want to be sure that the fabric does not extend beyond the stitch area, but at the same time we want the applique fabric to be very secure under the applique stitches. There is flexibility in fabric. As you know, we ease fabric in when we're stitching uh, seams, and the same thing applies to our applique. Next, we're going to use the mini iron to fuse the applique shape to the background. Stema Seam Light does not always have to be fused, but if you're a beginner, it is helpful to fuse it. When you are satisfied that your applique is securely placed, it is time to take it to the machine to be stitched. We are at the machine and the first thing we're going to do is snap the hoop into place. We have a thread color on the machine that will match the outer stitching because the first set of stitches is a zigzag stitch that stitches all the way around. It holds the shape in place while the center decorative holiday garland is stitching. These stitches are just one more step in securing the applique to the background fabric. As you watch this stitch, you can see how nicely the stitches fit around the shape. The zigzag stitches are coming to an end and we're going to change the thread now to a red so that we can stitch the holiday garland. The nicest thing about the inner stitching of the holiday garland is that there are no thread stops or jumps. It stitches beginning to end without stopping. We're going to advance through this so that you can see the various steps that are included with the holiday garland, beginning with the outline of the garland and then the stitching of the ornaments. And each ornament 
progresses down that garland and stitches with a decorative fill and we come to the end here you can see the last ornament is being stitched and when that last ornament is stitched then the decorative stitch that is the garland itself stitches all the way back up across the tree and comes to an end at the top. The thread is changed to the dark green that matches the zigzag and is the outline for the tree itself. This is a light decorative applique stitch. It's one that I designed myself and creates a nice motif around the tree. The applique stitch is almost complete. We just have one more branch to go and you can see how beautiful this machine embroidery applique is. Now we take, we've removed the hook from the machine and we want to remove the fabric and stabilizer from the hoop we're going to turn the fabric to the wrong side and we're going to remove that tear away stabilizer and because it is so soft it tears away very easily it also creates a very soft quilt by having the soft stabilizer in there, but it holds the stitches very nicely. If the embroidery needs to be pressed, place it with the right side down on a soft surface, such as a soft ironing board surface, or even sometimes I use a dish towel for pressing. The last step is to trim the block to size for the quilt. This is going to be a 6 inch finished block, so I am using the Creative Grids Centering Ruler because it has measurements all the way around and it's easy for me to see how to center the applique accurately. Here you can see that the top and bottom are on the 5 inch line. Let me zoom in for you so that you can see this. So the 5 inch line is at the top of the tree and also at the base of the tree. And if you look at the tree branches, I'm just going to slide it over just a little bit so that the tree branches are at the 4.5 inch mark. And once that is completely centered, I'm going to trim that with a rotary cutter. And I'm using a rotating cutting mat, which is a little bit hard for me to turn. Now, once that excess fabric has been trimmed away, you can see what a beautiful tree we have. 
It's a beautiful block and can go into almost any setting, either sashed or with a connector block. This is a beautiful quilt and the free pattern is available at AccuQuilt.com. This quilt uses the Holiday Medley die and the machine embroidery set and the connector blocks are cut using the AccuQuilt Go 6 inch cube mix and match block set.